Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today I will show you how you can create easily and fast your own template for your own work. Remember, for this tutorial, for this template, you should have the sum work what you have done already before. It will help you create your own template more faster and more smooth to use it and later on. So if you are ready, let's get started. The first thing, we want to create architecture template. One thing you should remember, if you are using, for example, Revit 2020, you should create the template in Revit 2020 or you should update step by step, like you have the 2017, you should update first to the 2018 and after that to 19 and only after that to the 20. Uh, we had the, a lot of the reason why. Mm, the first reason why we do updating step by step, you should keep updating like after desk updating uh, own models and all own parameters. So that's the reason. So let's continue. We will go to the new one and we will find here the template from the architecture template or you can use the non, but I will prefer use the architecture template because uh, by this way we will get something in our template. And after that we will change the our uh, bottom from the create new to the create project template. So let's create it. And now we are inside in our template. Now we will make some our own parameters. And now we will clean up it because we don't need everything from the standard Autodesk template. To clean it up, we will go to the manage and we'll find here the purge unused. I will uncheck everything and what I don't need actually in this template. I don't need any uh, curtain panels, let's say. I don't need it. As you can see, we have like glazing and solid. Let's check it out. As you can see now, two objects. Uh, we don't need any furniture. So because I will use my own one, we don't need any generic models, of course. And also I don't need any walls. I will leave only one basic wall. So let's leave it only one basic wall. Let's say it will be 300 something or maybe let's let's leave it that one. We don't need actually the curtain walls. We will leave only the storefront and I don't need the stack walls. We will leave only one. As you can see now we have a lot of the things what we will delete. We also don't need any windows and any doors. So let's find the doors. Here is the doors, uh -huh, here, and I will delete it too. Just let's say OK, and now we don't have any this object in our template. Why I'm deleting that? Because I want to prefer use my own, and we will now load it up inside our project. To create your own objects, uh, of course, you can go to the file, you can uh, go to the new and create the family. But it's really long time to create each family and load it inside to the Revit. Uh, what I prefer, I already have some uh, project w which I already done. And there I have, for example, the lists of the walls what I want to prefer to use in my template. They already have some windows and doors what I will prefer to use in my template. I will open all my own template, uh, my pretty old project. Uh, actually, this project have already the types uh, of the families what I want and all the settings what I want. But this is not the uh, template. Okay, so here it is, and let's go back to the our template. And now we will go to the manage, and we will find here the transfer project standards. We need transfer only wall template because the wall, this is system family. It, you cannot export from the one file to the uh, another file like a family. Uh, checkbox here the wall types. Just checkbox it and let's say OK. Just few seconds. Now if you will go to the architecture wall, you will see here the all walls which came from the my own file. But with the family we have another story and I will show you how you can transfer your families from the one project to the another one. So to transfer all your family from the one project to the another project, of course, you should have uh, like separated file and you ha should have like your own library. But what if you don't and all your families inside your project? You should go to the, this project. For example, here is my uh, pretty old project. I'm going to the file. Uh, after that, I'm going to the save as and I'm f here I find the library and I want to just save my families like a library. So and what I'm going to do next? Next, I will find where I want to save it. I will save it like a tutorial and here I already have the folder. 
So, and what the type families I want to save. Uh, here is uh, the type of the families, what you can choose, like doors, like annotation, whatever you want. I will find some, uh, let's say I want save, let's say I want to save everything, all families. So here is the type of the uh, files. It's only one type and after that just say yes. So what's going on right now? If you will go to this uh, folder, you will see each family is now saving separately. Once it will finish, you can create, for example, start and create your own library or you can just select everything or only what you want and transfer to your template. So I will back when it will finish. So here I'm back and it takes like few minutes and as you can see all families now inside this folder. So what we're gonna do next, next I will go back to the my family, I mean um, to my template, I will go to the door and you will see you don't have any doors here. Let's load it up our doors, what I wanna use. Let's say I want to use all these doors, sorry, and I will just drag and drop inside to the project. Just like this, no need any special things. Okay, it also will take time, done, let's go back to the doors and now as you can see I have all the doors what I want to use in my standard template. The same thing I will do for example with the uh, window, uh, windows, uh, I just should find some old windows and just also drag and drop to the your project. So by this way you will load in your template only what you need, not everything, not not some uh, objects from the beam objects or something else. You will import only what you need on your template for the, your every project, let's say. The next thing be before we will start uh, working in our project, we should make organizing our views. As you can see right now, our project browser uh, here and it's now organizing by, by floors, plans, ceiling, 3D views, elevation. But it doesn't work when you have, for example, large project or maybe you have own style in your company. So you don't want to spend all the time to change it. So first you should prepare your organizer bra project browser. Right click on the view and here you will find the browser organizer. And as you can see now we can see all our uh, scheme. But I prefer using, for example, discipline. I will use discipline and I will edit. Uh, because I need making some uh, changes here. Let's go inside to the edit. Uh, filtering, it means uh, what we want show, what we want hide. It's only up to you. If you want to hide something, you just can use uh, by what the parameter you will hide some views in your project. We not will hide anything right now. Maybe we'll do later on. We will go straight away to the grouping and sorting. Here we'll find we now sort we are now grouping everything by discipline and we writing all the name our discipline. So if it's architecture, it will be writing like architecture. Let me I will show you. Uh, let's say okay and let's say okay. And now you will see we have one discipline here, the architecture. If you will open, you will see all these things same but inside architecture uh, bar. Let's go back to the browser, let's go to the edit and I will go to the grouping back and now I will change all characters to the leading characters. And let's say I wanna only using two, na two symbols. Let's say okay, let's say okay. Now you see, can see AR, that's it. So this that's why it, it means like how many characters you wanna see. Uh, let's go back to the browser organization, edit and let's go back to the architecture character. So uh, we will leave as it is right now and let's say we want to create the new, uh, new um, view, I don't know. We will go to the view, uh, now I will go to the view plan, floor plan and I will create the new floor plan. Let's say I want to copy the level 0, let's say OK. Now we are inside the, our new level 0 and here we will change the discipline. Let's change our discipline from coordination, let's say to the structure one. And now you can see we get the new folder and calling the structure one. If you will open up, you will see this is now our floor plan is here. So by this way, you can create like basics of the your levels. You can um, uh, change the name and to look more correctly. And after that, you can uh, start working with your template properly because you will have, for example, all disciplines. And the last thing, 
Actually, it's not last thing. This is only the basic thing to create your template. We will continue later on to create it more complicated. But for now, you will get only you should get only one thing more. This is starting view. Uh, let's using the starting view, and as you can see, you can use any starting view. I recommend you create your own starting view where you will put ev all information about your project. Let's say this is, will be like. Uh, the sheets uh, A100 uh, and here you will place all information about your project so once you will open your project you will see always this page with all information so you no need to spend time to understand what this project what, what the part of this project and something like else okay once you will finish you just go to the file and after that go to save as and save it like a template and let's say this is, will be our template 2020 don't forget to write the version of your template because uh, once it uh, become the new uh, version of the Revit you should understand what the type of the uh, what the version you used before so just save it and done now you did your own template yes this is basic things but later on we will continue with the more advanced things for now uh, this is finished thank you guys for watching and see you next time